Hey, what is up everybody and welcome back to River Blood. We are back out here today on Moreland's farm at the Freshwater Shrimp Farm here in Kentucky. And doing a late intro, we've already been in here getting shrimp out because we've had a major cold front th come through and these shrimp freeze and become super lethargic and then they can die. So we gotta get them out as quick as possible. But I'm gonna rush over here so we can finish working and teach you guys about some aquaculture and check out part three of our shrimp series here. We've got a couple more videos you guys can check out in the uh, description or title card up here. Need to hurry up and get over here. This could be devastating. You could lose a lot of money. Let's get over here and we'll check it out. And I'll show you guys around. All right, guys, as you can see, we are saning the shrimp out of this pond. It's an efficient way to do the big pond. We've actually got three ponds total. We do them the first three Fridays of September. Like I said, it's extremely cold out. It was 89 just a couple of days ago. And now today, it was like 46 degrees when I woke up. So, as you can see, these shrimp, here's a small one right here. They're alive, but they're just, some of them are dying. And some of them are just really cold, so extreme speed today is what we need to do. So, Yeah, so we got this water pumping out right now. Now, I've had some comments on how deep these ponds need to be if you want to dig your own pond and start your freshwater shrimp. And we are three and a half feet on this end, and it goes down to about seven feet on that end. And when we pump this water out, the water drains down to the seven foot section. And we gather all the shrimp up down here in the deep end. Right now we're getting these cold ones out of the shallow water that are going to be more prone to the cold. Oh, all right. Look at all these shrimp. I don't even have my gloves on. They are moving. We're starting to see some popping. I need to get my gloves on. You can see this, the rostrum on there, that horn it will pierce your hand. Literally, it'll go through your hand. But I'm just gonna give you guys a little show here. This is how we do it. We come through insane and scoop these up by hand as fast as we possibly can. And fortunately, We've got one of the universities come out that do aquaculture and teach the students about freshwater shrimp. They come out with the refrigerated trailer and process these things for us. Kind of like a co-op uh, vocational type thing for the college students, which really helps out a lot. So. Let me uh, let me get my gloves on and start picking these things up. This is this could be a disaster. We'll get what we can live. People want to buy these live too. We got a big live well. So I'll be back with y'all in a few moments here. found a bunch of turtles didn't we yeah they had they have a snapping turtle over there yeah they got one now yeah yeah oh there he goes oh, you're not running away you're <laughs> not running away looks like the girls got a prisoner so we always find musk turtles and snapping turtles different kind of turtles frogs 
raccoons, herons, everything wants to come in here and eat these shrimp. They're just so delicious and it's an easy meal. They sit right here on the, the edge of the, the ponds. And, shrimp fest, huh? yep. Show him. So fun. Maybe we'll, we'll see what else we can't find today. Whew, it's getting warm. It's been about an hour, hour and a half. And I've never seen this much shrimp in this pond. There's a lot in here this year. I hope you like. Uh, get cooled off here. Hurry and hurry and hurry, and that's the key today. Not overfilling our basket so the shrimp don't die. Just a quarter to a half a basket. And we've almost got it. We're almost done on the shallow end. We're gonna be working on the deep end here in just a few minutes. The water's almost pumped out down there. Generators running, and I am stuck. Jack just fell over there. But a lot of people think this is shrimp poop. This is just silt. These these ponds only have you know two to three hundred in the small ponds, and maybe five to eight hundred in this big pond. And we're not over harvesting like they do in, in other countries. So this is just mainly from erosion silt and we do have main drains in this pond to drain this hill out and a fresh water source the river to fill these ponds up in the deepest part of the pond now and i need a basket and i need to get unstuck another reason draining this water out as low as we can to start seeing the shrimps popping and busting the surface so we can just grab them by hand and saying them you don't want to step on these shrimp. If you step on them, you're going to squish them down in here and lose a lot of shrimp like this. So it is very important to get the water level just right so you can start collecting them. Work from the edges, and as the water goes down, go towards the deep end. And it's the most efficient way we have found to, to gather these shrimp. Those of you that are new here and haven't seen our shrimp operation, we've got massive live wells back here. But since we are in such a hurry today, we almost lost the entire pond due to the cold weather. Five degrees colder, probably to, they probably would have all been dead. Would have been devastating. I'm gonna show you our process. Look at these girls. Zara and Daisy have been working so hard today. So they get that mud rinsed off of them. They get rinsed again and they just get cleaner and cleaner as they go down we drain the water really good so we can weigh them point 15 m is four yep so just the bottom of the basket See, is covered almost it. four pounds so on average the price fluctuates between 10 and 15 dollars a pound depending on if they got the head or if they're whole or if they already processed and deveined but they they go from about 70 cents per shrimp to a dollar 20 per shrimp so it's a lucrative business you're late we done got all the shrimp out that's good <laughs> All right, so we're here in the barn and this is where the fry, the little tiny shrimp fry are raised. They're uh, about as big as your pinky now when we get them out of Texas. So Jack here says it's the incubation. Incubation unit. Yes, yeah, the incubation unit. They're all four different tanks. They spread them all out so they don't get too stressed. Yeah, keeps so the, keeps the meat better. Keeping an even amount of shrimp in each. And these are the filtration tanks. So they've all got some kind of filtration in here and uh, keeps them all clean. And like I was telling you guys earlier in the ponds, we have the, uh, the nets that go up for, uh, so the shrimp can have more territory because they're very territorial uh, little creatures. But, and like in here, they're horizontal. So they can all 
they have their own little space in there and not become stressed. You don't want to stress the meat out on the shrimp because we're farming them to harvest to eat. And I uh, figured I'd show you guys that for those of you that were curious on the setup. All right, guys, so the students did not come this year because of the uh, what's going around. They're not allowed to come, so we're going to team up and get in this processing trailer, put on some hair, and uh, get the ice ready now. And uh, we'll get you guys a sneak peek on uh, cleaning these shrimp and getting them processed. First, we got to chill kill these guys. So they go in these baskets. For those of you who are new here that don't know, this is the most humane way to kill them. We go from there into the basket, into the ice. We let them sit in this near freezing water. And then we'll move in and pop heads. Check this out. All right, see if they let me in, clean my feet. So finally, we are down to the last few buckets of shrimp. Mm -hmm. Why is so and we are going to wrap up today. So, we just processed a bunch of shrimp. It takes a long time. It's 400 pounds by hand. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up for the day. Thank you guys for stopping by. Next week, we're going to be fishing. So make sure you check out my playlist and my other fishing videos and the other two series of this shrimping videos so really appreciate you guys and we will see you on the next one peace